Rita Sarkeesian. I can't wait. I bet she looks beautiful in this one. Oh, she's probably yeah, she's probably a gorgeous woman, isn't she? Yeah. She, she has all all but her eyebrows. Uh, I don't know. Eye, eyelashes can we, plucked. Can, can we do a commentary on this? The comments are disabled. You know, I don't are know we? if they want people talking about it. Oh, the, oh, that's just that's just a formality. You know, it's it's nothing. It's nothing. Oh, actually, they have an, a, an explanation as to why it's turned off. Oh? Uh, why are the comments turned off? Uh, this talk comes from a woman who was targeted by an online hate campaign. Predictably, the same campaign has targeted this talk, so comments have been shut down. Uh, please share on your own social networks if you'd like to comment constructively. Well, Andrew, you're part of a targeted hate campaign now. Oh. Andrew, you make me sick. You're disgusting. That's, a, That's your why you wanted first, us to watch this movie. Nazi rapist we just saw. Yeah, that's right. Cutting Indian dicks off. What the fuck? I well, I don't. I didn't know. I thought it was. I thought it was tasteful. You I bet you this is the kind of thing she was. This is the kind of movie Anita Sarkozy would probably like. TEDx women. Mm. I like how the X is independent, organized, meaning it's so not associated with. What, what is TEDx women? Is it like a, a shipping company for women exclusively? Yeah, it's like the FedEx for obnoxious feminists. Ship them out of the uh, normal TED Talks. The mirror. I'd like to share with you a story about how I accidentally became the villain. There she is in her big ass hoop earrings. <laughs> in real life. How I accidentally wore <laughs> shower <laughs> curtains as earrings. A video web series on YouTube called Feminist Frequency, where I. You gotta admit, she's she's hot. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I'm not really attracted to um, obnoxious bitches, but you know, I can see. I think she's a beautiful Armenian goddess. She she should be like uh, the 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 princess on Prince of Persia, running around with Jake Gyllenhaal. He should be eating her hair pussy out. You, you like that look, huh? If she was wearing a burqa, would that do it for you? <laughs> I, I love the look. I think she looks fantastic. You just want to grab her by those hoop earrings? That's not you, that's Sarah Silverman. Multitasking. It's a creative way of saying sitting on your ass playing Mario Brothers. So again, I've been playing games for a while, but there's something that's Cognitive abilities. It is no secret that the video game Oh my god. Are those women showing legs? Look at what a slut Miss Pac-Man is. Oh, that's disgusting. Look at Cortana. Look at those... With her chicken wing thighs. So Look at those digital mind, games. I, I, I mean, I don't normally say this, but Miss Pac-Man is just, you know, if she gets raped, it would be her own fault. Hey, she's gobbling those pellets. She knows what she's doing. And Pac-Man gobbles fruit, so... What does that tell you? She's not getting it at home. That's what it's telling me. <laughs> Pretty straightforward, right? I mean, what could He's always going after those wrong? ghosts that are in the closet, if you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. She's yeah. got a beautiful mane, like a, a pony. Out there she is very horse-like, you're right. <laughs> no, but she's still beautiful. Now, Why don't you guys tell you shit about her? I am a feminist Just because I can picture her with a saddle on her back, galloping around the stage, doesn't mean I'm talking shit about her. no stranger to some level of sexist backlash. Nice looking at your laptop I, on the uh, on exactly the ground, Anita. Used to <laughs> she tried writing it on her hand, but that didn't work out so well the last time. Just I want to wanna sell her head to Circus de Soleil. I found myself the target of a massive online hate campaign. God, she has an enormous now, nose. A massively multiple online hate campaign. Acrobats should be jumping in and out of her earrings. <laughs> All of my social media there should be somebody juggling in the background. Of rape, violence, sexual assault, death. And you'll notice that these... Um, Robin's family should fall to well. their death from her earrings. <laughs> Bruce Wayne stands <laughs> up in the front. <laughs> Claps slowly. A tear running down his eye. <laughs> he can relate. Now the thing with the Wikipedia page, I think Anita should be uh, proud that she even um, got a Wikipedia page. I mean, once you're on Wikipedia, you've made it. Uh, uh, Andrew, that's not really a page, though. It just redirects to from scam. My website offline, oh. hack into my email and other accounts. They collect Wait, is that say Domino's Tracker? And distribute my personal it's right. Domino's I Pizza Tracker on the fucking number. screen. What? There were images made Look at the left What? <laughs> they they hack the, to her Domino's like, premium account. <laughs> they keep ordering. Whenever she orders pizza, she gets the wrong toppings. <laughs> um, what's even more disturbing? Nothing but green peppers. 
than this overt display of misogyny -like. on a grand the scale. <laughs> is that the perpetrators openly referred to this harassment She wants uh, pepperonis because those are like ovaries. It's female empowerment on a pizza. They referred to their abuse as a game. So, in their minds, they can... I'll tell you what that mouth is good for. It ain't talking. Am I right, fellas? High five. Oh, skip! ...together to take down an enemy. Kissing. That's what I was good for. Kissing. Hey, now you two, stop and sexually oppressing this strong, independent woman. As she talks about her uh, extraordinary battle against people hacking into Pete the Pizza Maker at Domino's. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she's just an 80s career woman trying to make it in this world. She carries her sneakers in her purse. She knows what the deal is when she gets to the office. Who are the players? Well, often when we talk about online harassment, we think of teenage boys in their parents' basements. And while sure. I was attacked by some teenage boys, there, I was also attacked by thousands of <laughs> It was of brutal. Men. I was walking down the street and, and they accosted me. And entirely surprising considering the average age of the male gamer in the U.S. She's just like a disco cowboy. Where is this game played? Well, the perpetrators turn the entire internet well, this game into is played, a battlefield. Not on so a console case, or on a computer, but in life. That I possibly it's a life game. Online. They also have a home base where they coordinate their raids and work together and communicate. And this usually takes place... Um, on largely unmoderated, largely anonymous message boards and Do you think anybody's ever pulled her aside and said, have you considered no maybe you're just fucking crazy and there's not a giant conspiracy out to get you? So what is the goal? Well, the immediate explicit I think you're just jealous that she's the Mary Tyler Moore of the new millennium. Me. So then I'm the Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> hey, now. <laughs> I want to be the Laverne and Shirley. I mean, I'll be Andy Griffith or something. Trying yeah. to maintain the Come status on. quo of video games as a male dominated space. And all of the privileges and entitlements that come with I love how the audience <laughs> gets silent. So, what type of game is this? Well, it's fundamentally a social one. Sexist. We don't usually one. think of online harassment as a social activity, but we do know from the Is this a TED talk on dinner dates? <laughs> that they were not working alone, that they were actually loosely coordinating with one another. And this social, I think she's talking about, this is the Beat the Anita uh, game, right? The Flash yeah. game? Yeah. Maneuver, <laughs> where you beat her savagely in the face? Is that multiplayer? God, I hope so. I, I wish it was. <laughs> Team Deathmatch. <laughs> <laughs> Online co-op. Is, is, there should be an Anita mod for, like, you know, Left 4 Dead 2 if there isn't already. Oh, the power-ups are earrings. Just giant hoops floating through the room. Yeah. Well, I'm not joking with you guys. I really do think she's beautiful. Like, she's... Then she looks like my type of gal. She doesn't really talk like my type of gal, but she's beautiful. So as a homosexual man, if you were straight, you'd find her attractive. I, you know what? So, it's 2012. We got a gay president. <laughs> it's, it's 2013. I don't feel like... Well, <laughs> you have to excuse so me. The gay, the gays can't even keep track of time. Right? I've been in the hospital with AIDS for the last nine <laughs> months. It's not a game. You have to excuse me if I can't keep it's track of your display, time schedule. No, did you catch your case of AIDS from a, a gay Indian and his obnoxious uh, girlfriend? <laughs> it's not I don't have time for this breeder. I <laughs> <laughs> enjoy a TED Talk. It's really you want to be game. empowered? Yeah. So what is it then? Well, the usual well, you it's hurtful. Such as cyber bullying, She's a cyber gorgeous doctor. Iranian girl you with there's something about Mary hair. And I love it. A hate campaign of this scale. What happened to me? Look at that freckle on her chest. I just well, can best be described as a cyber. I don't know. Okay, stop objectifying her. All right, she doesn't and want you looking at her chest. That's why she has a giant opening there. <laughs> She the said wants you to focus on her face where the giant fucking 30-foot hoops are. <laughs> Those are fuck handlebars, actually. That's <laughs> <laughs> their official <laughs> name at Target. Blowjob handlebars. <laughs> yeah, where you going? No, you come back in. I, I like the fact that she dresses like Shazam. By creating an environment that is too toxic. I just like the fact she's Sorry. got penciled on eyebrows. An environment that is too toxic and hostile to endure. Yeah, it must be the cancer. Now you see, look at her forehead. It's a little browner than around her eye areas. It's like, you know, she, can we not talk about her ugliness? Because she's not ugly. She's beautiful. Yep, look, she's, her, her forehead is like greasy, like she's smeared hamburger grease all over her face. No, the reason it's discolored, like you're saying, is that's where her husband beats her. <laughs> that's what this talk is about. Where Tyrell beats her. No, his name is, uh, yeah, Tyrell. That works. Do you guys realize she escaped Saudi Arabia to be free to talk <laughs> this, and now you're objectifying her? <laughs> Was she smuggled out in the trunk of a Honda? <laughs>
<laughs> Did you hear the clacking of her earrings again? She, she was smuggled out, out in, a, in an oil drum, and she still has some in her hair. <laughs> That's how she keeps it so sheeny and black. Thousand individuals contributed to make my tropes versus women in video games. I love how she's put on basically a presentation telling everybody, "Hey, look how many idiots I robbed." Instead of just being how you can't make fun of me for saying you got 69 in your backers because there's like 69 in there. You yes, anal sex. Feminist frequency went from a part-time side project to a full-time endeavor. I received countless messages of support and words of encouragement. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you did. Solidarity with me well, here's one more, sweetie. I support videos, you. Don't listen to these guys. They don't know what they're talking about. You're beautiful. I've even been hey, no. Okay, she doesn't need a man to support her. All right. I apologize. I'd like to apologize. Check that <laughs> fucking privilege. The overwhelming support that I received. All right. Take your take your uh, rape culture and get the fuck out of this. Why? She's talking about the six people that supported her. <laughs> Did that tweet say she visited Dice and gave a seminar on what? <laughs> hey, sweetie. No, no. Yeah, Andrew Dice Clay. That's who she was. <laughs> Hey, you know, little Miss Muffin. <laughs> kind of That's what she was doing. Hey, you need a SK, yeah. Checked her pri privilege and went to bed. To <laughs> Where I fucked her. I truly believe that if we work together, we can create a cultural shift where women, without fear of intimidation... The whole bed's a sexist spot. I've been fucking you for hours. Hillary for president, 2016. Fuck you. I need a Sarkeesian for president. If she could run, if she had dual citizenship here and in Iran, that would be fantastic. She'd be the new Ayatollah. Yep. <laughs> Ayatollah Sarkeesi. <laughs> <laughs> They'd love that, I'm sure. Give, she's give uh, morning speeches just t talking about how men should be killed. Why is this such, such a low rating? What is wrong with people? They're all sexist. But this is patriarchy oppressing her. It is. It really, it's... You see men get together um, anytime they see a woman do anything, and then they attack it. And they have coordinated attacks in unmoderated form hubs, mm -hmm. mainly on Stormfront and Fur Affinity. Hey, <laughs> Fur Affinity's a big part of this. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my Stormfront account and my uh, Affinity. I, I believe she gave a TED Talk about being accosted by people in fox costumes and how <laughs> terrifying that was. <laughs> they kept uh, yipping at me and running in circles, dragging their ass on the carpet. It was horrible. What is this? I love furry day. <laughs> <laughs> Coarse language. I don't, I don't think I want to watch this, guys. This well, I'm looking forward language. to it. Yeah. Anytime sex is involved, being a guy, I have to pay attention. Andrew, will you beep out the uh, naughty language? Is this what you call uh, and I will games? do my best. No promises, yeah, though. Threats of death, threats of violence, um, threats of rape. Wait a minute, is this science fiction? Why are women playing online. video games? This isn't real life. You told me this was a doctor. Tonight on The X Factor. They're just actresses. <laughs> <laughs> women who can play Good video games. And welcome to 16 by 9. We've all heard about bullying. So is that my life bar or Facebook. something? Now there's I'm hitting the buttons, but I don't understand. I'm not saying. tweeting anything. <laughs> is this 60 minutes games. of gaming? Our Sophie Louis explored What's the deal with vi women playing games? And found when you pick up a controller, you're leaving yourself open to threats. In my day, violence, women worked at garment shops. And, <laughs> and, she uncovered all too and now they want to be taken seriously. Are women. Well, if you want to be taken seriously, go back to Iran. I'm Andy Rooney. So we've got a few, like, tits are get the out, show me your tits. Um, <laughs> you disgust me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> when Anita Sarkeesian goes online... A hard-hitting expose on tits or get the fuck out. <laughs> and he committed some terrible crime worthy of I guess, insults uh, and threats. I guess Ted Koppel turned this down, he couldn't handle it. The offense committed by the pop culture critic... Now I noticed someone says LOL or what. Online to raise just money explain to that. Now when I say LOL, does that mean lots of love? What I try to do in my videos is give people the language to understand and Our Nita Sarkozy was eaten by us. wolves I'm today. Going to look at the damsel in distress. <laughs> she was online, delicious. The sexy sidekick, the sexy villainess, and the most common trope in video games, women's Why do they keep what? I've never met a person who she uses that word in real life. I've never had a conversation where somebody the used the word fucking trope. Yeah, me neither. It just I, I, I've never heard it like on a discussion on say like a news network, like a cable news network where they have a panel. I've rarely heard anyone like we're going to talk about slavery in the 1800s. Well, that trope. It's <laughs> 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 
it, it sounds like some kind of drum kit. Had a hard time even hearing the words. I hope you get raped tonight. <laughs> Why are you smiling? Yeah, uh huh. Yeah. The harassment escalated when Anita's Wikipedia <laughs> page was vandalized. Bulitar Sarkeesian. <laughs> Did you see Attempts that? Attempts were made to hack her website. And threats were made against her personal safety. Luckily, was she was hidden behind a wall of video games. Yeah, there was definitely moments that were scary. <laughs> and says she's being harassed for no other she doesn't even have the controller on. Oh, this is like Chris. It's not even connected. World, which has this is Chris Bohr's level of men. shittery. That's very male dominated, and I think with that, she made that jump. That was amazing. A sense of That's uh, gamer skills. That these games yeah. are for men by men, and that women, if they're going to participate, they need to shut up. Anita calls her attackers a cyber mob, deliberately trying to silence her. Lego and gender? Things got even more graphic when oh, this showed is. up this online. Oh, here it is. This is the game. <laughs> a game called <laughs> what the fuck? Anita now she's an old lady. They should have called this game Make Anita Ontario Old. Gamer. It was gross. Like, frankly, it was just really vile and disgusting. This is her picture. <laughs> <laughs> they used the thing from Earthbound. <laughs> Ask the man behind the game, Bendelin Spur. For so, an so I don't interview. understand. Spur what was the problem? It's a game that turns her into Lindsay Instead Lohan. Sending emails saying that women and men are turns treated no differently on interactive uh, media. I do like the, uh, and the game he made. I've never watched has nothing to do with Anita being this female. Video or this but series instead, of beat up games. But I, I like how they're not talking about why people were actually genuinely upset. It's all from her perspective. I think the problem yeah, that Jules said this. Well, you want to have like a 12-year-old troll? I don't said anything. I don't like with. The games are not meant as a no, no, I'd, I'd, I'd like to have somebody to who could just say, why would a woman who would make YouTube videos need $160,000 to make poor YouTube media. videos? To make a game well, then she wouldn't agree to come on. This idea of we're just trying to have a but they could be 12 and, and say that. I don't think anyone will buy that. Or anyone yeah, would she's just grouping all the negative shit and, and the uh, reasonable it may be a uh, world, constructive but uh, dissent. She's real, looping, Anita, looping, bleh, looping them all into the same uh, fucking group. In the it's just any... Neg it's just all negative to her. Uh, yeah, yeah, she's gorgeous. You call that black PR, and uh, The best way to undermine an opponent is to associate them with a group that has a negative that connotation to it. That uh. So I can say uh, only Nazis think that, horrible. and now you're a Nazi one because you think that too. Is mm. all it takes to make it on this oh, I do like me them pure whites. Like those Aryan women? Yeah. Well, her name's Anita. Like those Aryan men in the movie we saw. Sandwich making 101 X-rated. That's Grace, your typical female gamer. She created <laughs> She's Fat Ugly or Slutty after Anita, I love you sometimes, but I don't like this website. Playing <laughs> online. At first, she thought it would be funny to post the obscene comments, writing it off as... Now, that's clearly naked. someone from the UK. She realized she was onto something. No one in the United States talks like that. No reasonable person would. They're just angry about the Civil War, what whatever war that we kicked their ass in. Uh, yeah, that was the uh, Civil War. Yeah. Yeah. They were the South. The War of 1812. <laughs> we kicked their ass in World War II. <laughs> well, we kicked your ass in World War IV. Garbage bin of insults, crude messages, and filthy audio recordings female gamers receive on a daily basis from virtual God, strangers. it's almost like everybody Death gets threats. filthy messages threats, when they play absolutely. video games. Threats, rape almost threats, like shit talking uh, is a natural part of multiplayer. I, I haven't. No one's ever demands, done that to me. Somebody demands, talks nasty to me in a game. I, I will frankly uh, collapse. Of genitalia. In well, usually I call the police gaming, players are known once somebody says something nasty to me. That's why I'm always recording conversations. Now you see, she's got an old 360 with the fucking memory card in it. Oh my god, upgrade your shit? They should just her being lowest on the list. Zero kills, 19 deaths. <laughs> If I can't now, get how did you get a together, negative score in this one match? Well, it's my play. gamer skills. I probably won't play that game that day. I'll go find something else to do. Since players like. can play anyone, <laughs> the trick, Grace says, is disguise your is the microwave controller? Mask any reference to womanhood. Choose a name that's too feminine, or use your So you real can't voice, call yourself Tits and McGee, you become a target. Me. <laughs> According to Grace, that's unfair. I have a vagina, 98 is taken. Come women women dumpster, 89. See why I have to. Sandwich so making cocksucker, of probably not a good, good, see my good boobs. choice. Sorry, demanding to see my boobs. Well, I just want to shoot some aliens. I just want to shoot some aliens, of you know, play some Robotron. A basement dwelling adolescent <laughs> I know, I can't. But the what if she ever gets aliens? Jeez. Of She's xenophobic? I mean, I love shooting uh, Mexicans as much as the, the next chick, but Jesus. Easily identify them, <laughs> I think I found uh, my mate. She says, the is this a DeVry commercial? Yes, we they're tightening up the graphics on level 3 right now. They can actually start injecting consequences and we can break the equation. Barbie's Funhouse. 
Stephen Toulouse used to be the sheriff of the and gaming world. And then he lost world, his hair and nobody takes it the seriously. As director of policy and they call him Baldy and Cuball. For Microsoft's Ball. Xbox Live. Baldy McCrusty the Clown Feet. The community is sort of well <laughs> Stone Cold Steve guess, Austin takes on the women hating uh, trolls. God, yeah, he really let himself go. Yeah, had a few too many beers, put on a few too many pounds. There's a level at which the My daughter was on Xbox Live. Then there's a level getting, that it's she was <laughs> getting requests to take Steven her clothes and off. Team of enforcers and that don't sit well with me. Code <laughs> so conduct, he powerbombed Which includes, don't be a jerk. No harassing and no cheating. Break the code Pretty and shy. Stephen came out. Wow, it really is hard to take her seriously as a gamer with a fucking memory card in your 360. No one could hear you yeah. on the system. I mean, that's uh, really pretty terrible. To, again, I don't even think you can buy a fucking 360 anymore behavior. with a, a hard drive that small where you need a memory card anymore. And he did shot gamers down, but it wasn't. Unless was this filmed in 2006? Did they use a time machine to do this? <laughs> no, this was last year. Of gaming behavior. I've spent a lot of time trying to understand why. Why, why does he have a shooting gallery glasses? Well, the first is audience. Uh, have an in case audience, anybody you know, audience. The second is they have anonymity, us. or at least a measure of anonymity that prevents the third thing. Which is, is that the gate of the internet standing really on? Of He's guarding it. It's just that right behind him is the, uh, the robber people. that everybody's you know, hooked up to. <laughs> uh, excuse me, are you a gamer, sir? It doesn't tend to see be, your ID. You know, slightly over All right, the look at me it in the glasses. Okay, the uh, a serious individual. Notice it's always <laughs> the jerk bitch. who says it's part of the game. You know, I've never been insulted on the internet. So I've never seen any of this, and it's because I'm a man. I've heard people say that That's this is true. harmless. Yeah. I don't not. think any of us have There's ever had a nasty insult kind of of play. It just doesn't happen to men. We're impervious to it. If you have this a penis... It's a hard-hitting expose. You only get compliments. The following program contains bullshit. Sexually explicit. All I, uh, they had me at sex. Where's my beautiful angel, Nina Sarkozy? When video oh, look at those men. Look at the them oppress those dots. Years ago, nobody predicted you think that dot's a woman? Next. Yes. No, 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 see, a yes, so you know, that wasn't Pong, that was a white beater simulator. But in the 70s, and graphics were so updated, <laughs> you couldn't really show it. That was, that was the, acu the, the accused video game. <laughs> Domestic Assault, yeah, elsewhere. part two. <laughs> Gaming had open arms for you. That's James Portnow. The first sequel ever made. He's been playing since he was five. Now he makes his living as a designer, teacher, and gaming oh, consultant. Oh, wasn't this a guy who made no games? Games, to right? me, are the first interactive mass medium. They're the first medium where you have He's also the owner of the world's gays goatee. ...do with television <laughs> or film, but uh, instead can interact. James has watched gaming <laughs> He's from watched this it because he can't make it. ...to this. James first found fame games, starring along... Fantasy that girl games, in Doom Generation. Video games have hit the mainstream. As a young Native American boy, it's <laughs> <year, laughs> <and> 60% <laughs> of Canadians play. <laughs> 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 games attract to, to, more to be really avant-garde, they really cut his growing. dick off. <laughs> you See, look how depressed he is. He still misses it. Quit games. <laughs> he just draws dicks uh, on his, uh, his digipad. Plays somebody the video. Else. <laughs> James and the reason no one get buys any players, game ideas from me is that they just have dicks in them. This video for an online web program. Oh, this stuff represents the worst credits. in our community. It's antithetical to everything games are about. I've heard people say that this is harmless. It's not. Who, who's talking? The midget the from Poltergeist? Game designers and professionals <laughs> this game to is clean. <laughs> tools to combat harassment directly. If your game is a highly competitive game, you should be able to include methods to curb some of these curb things. Curb your team, uh, your or empower your community. Uh, empower the female, the pussy. Methods include <laughs> muting other players, rating behavior, harsher penalties. Your behavior and is horrible, sir. People to play with, because online you never know who you could be against. <laughs> what, the, what did he do? Is he sh did the, did the TV shit in his mouth? Your kids better if this is what your 13 year old wants to a woman he's never met. But it's really not just young boys. These are grown men who should know better. The battle against intolerance oh, look is not at this only gem. online. It's in the Who's drawing as that? Well, oh, this making is, this it is hard perfect. for women to not only play games, yeah, but guys, to get in the game. Yeah, guys, don't play all those male-dominated games. Brenda Look Bailey at her, a real independent has been woman's playing game. since she was a child. She loved it so much that in 2005, she, she became a stone-cold ice game bitch. development studio in Vancouver. Encountering men, she says, acted like boys. I had to work on things like no beer before noon, 
and, what? Uh, you know, no porn in the studio, and, uh, you know, rules that kind of in most Oh, I thought those were games. Oh. Be accepted and pretty no, she doesn't want, yeah, you don't want any fun at the that studio when you're making games. Culture, but Joe actually Brenda transfer over. Silicon is executive of fun killing. Partner Kristen Forbes. So God, I, Canada's first yeah, Silicon Sisters. So video game guys don't want to work there, company. huh? That's bizarre. Right. Games Ice Queen. Specifically for women. A huge, untapped market. We really think it's important that girls think about video games as a place where they can have their careers. What? But women all these sexists are hosers, eh? Even though they make up almost <laughs> half of all gamers, less than 10% of game designers are female. A statistic Brenda wants well, Maybe to they change. should, you know, go to the school and learn a, a trade. Who are trying and to then content, more women will be are doing it game designers. Very, um, yeah, God, that's weird, huh? And yeah. according to Brenda, change the industry, you can now, change Now, wouldn't you want to play this game? Doesn't this look I awesome? Think the wow. Within the industry that's the game she made. Whole, you know, because she wants to really change that demographic. Well, I want to play Final Nurse Sarkozy 7. This is that the industry is changing. I think her game's called and Shopping Malls. Not Shopping <laughs> Malls. <laughs> she, she, she dressed Aeris in, in that Arabic outfit where it always sees her on. She's playing but pop she, she took away Barrett's muscles because they're threatening. Wanting to challenge video game <laughs> they're too dangerous. Still yeah. <laughs> and no gun. It's just a stump so now. Because you've gone through. Because guns to go through. Penis. How do you they feel about video games? Each other? Yeah, that's how they feel. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, you know, I think talk games about feelings. That's especially really where we're going. <laughs> the cactus is not just a vagina. What happens as the culture grows up? Cloud wasn't changed at all. Left exactly the same. He fits so well, it's so bizarre. <laughs> Everything about him, not even the dialogues were changed. It's amazing. <laughs> Perfect. Oh god, yeah, this was. Uh, these videos, man, they were all clumped together and they just threw them all out there. She was the uh, topic of the moment for a while. And now she's like sort of. I don't know how, if she produced all the episodes of Femmes, of uh, Tropes vs. Women games uh, all at once, or is she like, just put out the first episode and now she's working on the second one and it'll be up whenever the fuck she says. Well, she hired some immigrants to do that for her. Yeah. So, she'll be good. God, did you ever see the Bayonetta review she did? I did. It was fucking terrible. What does she say about Bayonetta? Oh, no, the best thing she said in that whole thing, because she's talking about how she, what she thought of it after she played it, and she actually says the only good thing that Bayonetta has going for her is she's a single mother. <laughs> <laughs> but what? Think of the drama if Bayonetta had ovary cancer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pursuing her enemies despite her illness. She needs flushing out, no pun intended. Gaming in the Hillary years. And I don't get why she threw a shit fit about, you know, like, women being harassed on trains in Japan, and just, all this shit is kind of happening in Japan. Like, if this, if the Bayonetta ad happened here in America, like, where you pull the, the thing off and it reveals Bayonetta, like, you know, partially naked, here in the States, holy shit, that would, that would be a, parents would just be pissed to no end. I, I'm interested, uh, like, yeah, all her stuff is Japanese-based. I'm interested if she'll go over, like, any of the Western stuff. Like, is she going to bitch about, uh, okay, I've been playing Planescape Torment recently. There's actually a character in that game called... Were you playing Damsel. as a male character? Yes, and there's a character called Damsel in Distress in the fucking game. That's the character's name. So I'm curious if she'll bring that shit up. That's I bet she won't. She'll probably say, "Oh well, I I didn't play it at the time when I was editing, and I didn't include it, so I think the, I don't know. It's still well, it's still deplorable." The Temple of Elemental Evil is just too difficult. It requires reading. I don't know how to do that. Okay, Anita, go back to uh, talking about your uh, flash games where you get beaten. Honestly, if she had a like, if she wasn't so ding dong serious, she should have a she. Uh, she should have laughed at it when she first saw it, just to the ridiculousness of it all. It's like, oh my god, I just can't. This is, but now she's like, no, that this was aggressive. It's a, it's a man, it's a male aggressive thing, and it's uh, deplorable. It's terrible. It's, uh, it's terrible. This is a man's world. Yeah, she's just got to accept it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well. Don't forget your origins, Anita. I mean, you know, if the Bible is Armenian, to, if the Bible is <laughs> if the Bible is to be, uh, you, you mean the Koran? Well, if the Bible is to be believed, you know, Eve did come from Adam's rib, so you know, dude likes to fuck a chick that came from himself. So I don't know what that tells you. Mm -hmm. We don't. We're, it's well, world isn't perfect. I, I like how <laughs> I came from the Bible. Yeah, that's good. Uh, stands right should be the Quran. Quran is the uh, popular book of uh, literature in in her ho home country of um. Uzbekistan? Yeah. Oh, Anita. What are we going to do? Now, now I could now I could edit those things together and throw it up. And 
it'll hold over the people because people really fucking love the the last one we did. It's almost uh, got five thousand views now. It's like forty eight hundred. Oh, that's because everybody hates this chick with a fucking burning passion. Yeah, and I get I, I I don't get it. I don't know why no one's saying that she's beautiful. I really think she's gorgeous. Uh, I'm an Asian chick, so even if she was, I wouldn't Ew. pick up on it. You fuck you. Ew. Asians are perfect. Stan, you love Asians. Come on. So, uh, S- South Koreans are gorgeous. Um, some Japanese are go- are gorgeous, but most are like, yeah, I don't know. I don't well, know how to feel uh, about. I'm it. talking about pure Asians, not that um, you know, not the UK's version of Asians, where that means like Pakis or anybody else. <laughs> like Asian Asians is what I'm talking. Well, about. Well, yeah, of course, obviously not Pakis. <laughs>